the largest private bank, LGT, to offer direct Bitcoin Ethereum investments. So the Liechtenstein royal family on bank, LGT, is now offering clients direct investments in Bitcoin and Ethereum and also providing custody services. Now, they made an announcement stated that the services would first be available to clients in Liechtenstein and Switzerland. So it is partnering with Swiss digital asset service providers, uh, Siba Bank, for the new project. Now, it is regulated in Switzerland and is providing crypto brokerage and custodial services uh, for those investments. Now, it says that traditional investments processes will apply to its crypto investments. So according to LGT, uh, the move to offer crypto investments is coming due to increased demand for investment class in the past recent years. Now, the bank is also stating that it understands how tricky it can be for individuals to invest in these assets when they don't have technical expertise. The CEO of the LGT Bank, Roland Matt, said that the bank would look up to hold the highest security standard while also helping their clients access the crypto space. He said, in quote, we worked intensively on this offering. Cryptocurrencies are still on a stage of dynamic development. LGT, therefore, first created the corresponding uh, and necessary processes and frameworks for this type of investment. Now, the clients, the eligible clients will be classified as professional clients uh, for an, uh, I'm sorry, of an external asset manager. But there are plans to expand the scope of offering to countries rather soon. So, SIBA's role. Now, the partnership with SIBA Bank uh, is integral into this offering, and SIBA has an extensive experience in crypto industry as it's worked with various companies in this field. Uh, the CEO of Siba Bank, quote, said, as a licensed and FINMA regulated Swiss bank and core competence in cryptocurrencies and digital assets, we enable banks and clients to handle traditional and digital assets securely. In other news, we also have that Binance invest, invest $500 million in Elon Musk's Twitter acquisition. So Binance is among the most successful crypto exchanges uh, in recent years. And with the competition actually grabbing headlines on a daily basis. So the latest news is that they've joined forces to invest in Elon Musk's Twitter. Uh, as for the United States Security and Exchange Commissions, Binance and other 18 investors are participating in Elon Musk's $44 billion acquisition of Twitter. The 13-day schedule document provided details of the merger and reported that Binance is the fifth largest investor uh, financing an Elon Musk Twitter acquisition deal. It invested $500 million, where VY Capital invested $700 million. Sequoia made an investment share of $800 million, and Lawrence J. Ellison Revocable Trust actually gave $1 billion. Xianping Xiao, uh, the CEO of Binance, reported his opinion on Twitter, taking the $500 million investment deal a small contribution to this cause. Now, investors enrolled in the document are assured to give committed finance equity before completing the acquisition process. The document had noted that equity investors have retained an option to satisfy such equity investors' equity commitment with shares of common stock held by such equity investor, and that's valued at $54.20 per share. Now, of course, Elon Musk, um, well, he possesses a net worth of almost $247 billion and is known as the high net worth individual worldwide. Now, he announced the purchase of, well, the social media platform for $44 billion in April, and the acquisition will be completed through proper approval of regulatory authorities and Twitter stakeholders. Uh, now, the CEO pointed out that the changing firm would be uh, from to private would ensure that Twitter can only serve as a beam of free speech. He pointed out preferences removing spams and spam bots, scam bots, the bot armies from Twitter and related to cryptocurrency. Grayscale files form 10 with SEC for its three trusts. Now, Grayscale Investment announced on Thursday that it has publicly filed a registration statement on Form 10 with the Securities and Exchange Commission on behalf of Grayscale Horizon Trust. Now, the new, for, uh, the new Form 10 filings are voluntary and subject to SEC review. If the SEC considers the registration statements filed today as effective, it would designate the trust funds as the investment vehicles to become SEC reporting companies and registers their shares according to the Section 12G of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934. It means that the accredited investors who buy shares and funds private placements would have an earlier liquidity opportunity. The statutory holding period of private placement shares is going to go down from 12 months to 6 months under the rule of 144 of the Securities Act of the same year, 1933. Now, the registration statements become effective when the funds would be quarterly 
in annual reports, current reports, and audited financial statements with the SEC. That's actually uh, complying with all of the other obligations under the Exchange Act. Now, the investment products that would allow investors to be more effectively implement strategic and tactical asset allocations incorporate digital ad by funds shares. And other news, we also have been able to protect miners' interest by introducing tail emissions in 30 days. So uh, this is in contrast approached by Bitcoin that allows block subsidy to go to zero. And the official announcement noted that that 0.6 XMR is linear, meaning that Monero's inflation rate approaches 0% in perpetuity. This makes Monero disinflationary. And unlike fiat or centralized cryptocurrencies, the supply is perfectly known, predictable, and able to uh, and able to be projected at any point in the future, end quote. So what are the benefits? Now, in digital assets like Bitcoin, the block subsidy will go to zero in the future. And so it means that the security of the network will actually depend 100% on user transaction fees. However, the fees need to be enough to support a competitive, decentralized mining environment. The number of miners in Bitcoin hash rate will drop drastically to meet the market equilibrium. Right now, the, current, the transaction fee is 1% of the reward in each block. The 99% of the composed block subsidy, which will eventually drop to zero, this puts in long-term security guarantees for Bitcoin under question. Now, with the tail emission, Monero will ensure that the miners are not 100% reliant on transaction fees, and this actually guarantees a significant income for themselves. And the announcement also added, not only does the insure Monero a certain level of security forever, it removes the burden of security from being 100% on transaction fees, allowing transaction fees to remain reasonable long term. The Monero community notes that tail emissions will allow them to implement fascinating, unique, dynamic block size. Thus, miners can be automatically increase the block size to efficiently handle congestion, and the dynamic block size also helps the block as small as possible during normal conditions as well. That's all we have for news today. Thank you for joining us, and I will see you guys.